in the last class we discussed the theories of divorce black's law dictionary defines marriage as a contract according to form prescribed by law by which man and woman capable of entering into such contract mutually engage with each other to live their whole lives together in the state of union which ought to exist between a husband and wife now coming to the question what is divorce divorce the term divorce is derived from the latin word divortium which means to turn aside or to separate a divorce is a court judgment ending a marriage the modern matrimonial law in india has been greatly influenced by the english matrimonial laws the matrimonial uh, causes act 1857 permitted divorce by judicial process Before the commencement of this act, divorce could be obtained only through Parliament, and only rich people could afford it. And in India, law relating to divorce are contained in Hindu Marriage Act, Muslim Personal Law, uh, Sharia Application Act, Dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act, Special Marriage Act, Divorce Act, and Foreign Marriage Act. Then the theories of divorce. There are different theories according to which a married couple can get divorce. these theories are the reasoning given behind the separation or ending of marriage the first theory is indissoluble theory according to this theory marriage is an unbreakable tie between husband and wife even though the relations between parties are unhappy they have to live and die with it marriage could be dissolved neither by the act of parties nor by the death of uh, one of them and the next theory is fault theory or guilt theory uh, according to this theory fault of one party enables other party to get divorce marriage can be dissolved when one of the parties in a marital relationship committed a matrimonial offense and this theory says that only the innocent party can seek divorce hindu marriage act originally recognized only the fault grounds uh, so uh, section 13 clause 1 of uh, the act lays down nine fold grounds and which uh, in by which uh, either husband or wife could uh, sue for a divorce and the next theory is consent theory this theory the consent theory is based on the principle spouse must have a right to dissolve their marriage by mutual consent when consent of parties is mandatory uh, for a valid marriage uh, party should have a right to end their marriage by their free consent this concept is covered by section 13b of hindu marriage act section 28 of special marriage act section 10a of indian divorce act next theory is divorce at will theory according to this theory one can divorce one spouse any time when that person wants to do so this is a well known theory in muslim law talaq e bidat is the best example for this theory and the practice has been recently uh, criminalized due to its wide misuse and uh, this divorce at will theory is not recognized by uh, hindu law the next theory is no fault theory this theory is based on the fact that marriages may fail not because of the fault or guilt of one of the spouses but because of the uh, spouses are not com compatible in their temperament the most uh, commonly given reason under this theory is irreconcilable differences prior to 9, 1976 divorce was granted only on the basis of fault theory according to no fault theory uh, the petitioner need not prove any fault of the other spouse the sixth theory is frustration theory or supervening circumstances theory according to this theory the concept of divorce is a relief from frustration even though the other party is not guilty of any marital offense either spouse can put an end to the marriage by proving mental disorder or physical ailment or conversion of religion or uh, renun renunciation of world or unheard of very long peri uh, period of time uh, only these factors remain as ground for divorce and type of marital offenses will not include in this theory that is if molly parnikina itrey 
കാരണങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് കാരണങ്ങൾ മാത്രമേ ഫ്രസ്ട്രേഷൻ തിയറിയുടെ കീഴിൽ വരത്തുള്ളൂ അതല്ലാതെ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു മാറ്റൽ ഒഫൻസ് ഇത് ഇതിൻ്റെ കീഴിൽ അതിൻ്റെ കാരണം കൊണ്ട് ഈ തിയറി കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്യില്ല ആൻഡ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് തിയറി ഈസ് ബ്രേക്ക് ഡൗൺ തിയറി ദ ഇറിട്രീവബിൾ ബ്രേക്ക് ഡൗൺ തിയറി ഈസ് അഡ്വേർട്ടഡ് ബൈ ദ ലോ കമ്മീഷൻ സെവൻറ്റി ഫസ്റ്റ് റിപ്പോർട്ട് it must be proved that the court in the court that the marriage is irrecoverably broken down and there is no chance of getting back together according to uh, section uh, 13 1a of hindu marriage act either party to a marriage can present petition for dissolution of marriage if uh, there has been no resumption or of cohabitation between parties for a period one year or upwards after passing the decree of restitution of conjugal rights this is the crux of breakdown theory thank you